quit, do it right, get the game, win it light, have no shame, waste no time, feel the pain, with the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way, to win it light, I never miss that stack, taking big swings, bitch, ham, Arteta out trends again globally. Take one or two pieces out of the puzzle and Mikel Arteta's process comes down tumbling, is what this gooner has got to say as anger starts to spread amongst the Arsenal fan base. Clear progression for a lot of gooners over the course of this season. A terrible start to the campaign, three defeats on the bounce, but steady progression. Harder to break, break down, more clean sheets. The young players, the attackers starting to cook. Abama Yang moved on. Lacazette really holding the line well up front, bringing his teammates into play. And Arsenal's trajectory got to a point where there was about an 80% chance they would make the top four this year. However, the last five games have kicked in and it appears reality has hit hard and deep with a lot of gooners. Wax Online here says the Arsenal board are so fickle and dumb that Mikel Arteta can easily manipulate the way they think in regards to the process, which keeps him in a job longer. That press conference is a clear demonstration. And Wax isn't the only Arsenal fan who said, you know what, we kind of got behind this guy when we were winning, but we feel like we are back to where we started all over again. Now, of course, this is the Fan Channel Review Show. We're looking at what you've got to say, not the pundits, not the experts. But you, we want to know what's on your mind. Make sure you're leaving your comments below. Make sure you're subscribing to the Football Terrace as well. And the first person we're going to take a look at today is going to be Lee Gunner. I want to know you know, what, what Lee Gunner has got to say about this because he's been very outspoken in the past. And here is some of his fan cam from yesterday. The full video is, of course, in the description below. At the back, Gabby in attack. We're on our way to champion. He's co sorry, Conference League. West Ham win tomorrow, we're seventh. Trust the process. You can't see what this manager's doing, mate. Bugger off down the lane. Now, firstly, do you think Lee's happy because Arsenal have lost the game and he wants Arsenal to lose to be right? Or do you feel he's happy because maybe, just maybe, uh, like Arteta could be coming to the end of the road here? Like he wants a better manager for his club. What's your take? Disgusting. Three straight losses. Chelsea next. We were actually, according to top gooners, oh, yes, top gooners, uh, we were actually supposed to be above Chelsea right now. That went well, didn't it? Well done. You've made yourself look idiots again. Well done. Well done, people. They did, they did say that. How many more times have I got to keep telling you lot? Raise the standards. This manager ain't it. Raise the standards. But he needs to be backed. How he needs back him. I see loads of people talking about Stan Kroenke again today. Really? Why? Why are you talking about Stan Kroenke? Wait, where, where was this talk about Stan Kroenke when we were winning games? Arteta out's trending on Twitter. Why? Trust your manager. How do you know? Trust you're not on, your how, do, how do you know? You're not on Twitter. You're banned. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's right, though. But he's right about the Stan Kroenke thing. I saw top, top Reds, top Gooners, trying to convince. And look, I'll always try and protect terrorist people. I, I look, me, me and a gal... Uh, a call. Uh, a banter, Amy banters me, is, is how it is. I look, but I'll always have his back. Jess is another one. And I'll give you an example. Je I watched one of Jess's streams where Gooners were cooking her for not being fully supportive of the Cronky regime because of two to three months of good football. And they came for her in numbers. And I'll always defend terrorist people. It, it, I, I, I told you before, the TPFs the toxically positive fans of Arsenal have created monsters like Lee Gunner. He's not a real monster. I'm just talking in a YouTube sense. You've been telling me I'm in the mud. I'm in the mud. It's all about me. I'm in the mud. Mm, yeah, I'm in the mud. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'll be proven right yes again because I don't speak with feelings. I speak from the heart. I say it as it is. Feelings. Uh, more people need to actually understand that. Ooh, Wake up, listen to feelings. what I'm saying and get on board. Because the more people that sit there ignoring it, you end up with this. Two and a half years later, two and a half years into this manager's Listen to job me. at Arsenal, <laughs> into his tenure at Arsenal, we are starting Eddie and Ketia with zero league goals this season up front. <laughs> 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 you know, 
We don't need a Bamiang. It is true. We don't need a Let's all laugh at his miss the other night. Let's all laugh at that miss the other night. <laughs> I need a Bamiang. Cool. So Lacazette don't score any goals. Then he's apparently out with C9 in. And then we go and put in a striker who scored no goals all season. Comedy club. This, this club is a comedy club. It is actually embarrassing how many times I have to sit here and be proven right. It's actually, and somebody put in my, um, big up to everyone who watched the watch along, by the way. Kenny Ken's fan cam's out as well, so go and check that out. And Jez will be out straight after this one. Um, and then player ratings will be out a little bit later tonight as well. So keep your eyes peeled for that. Um, keep notifications on, subscribe to the channel. And um, it's actually mad because somebody put in my watch along earlier that he went back and watched my video um, on the 25th of November, 2019, where I said, I'm not back in Arteta. He suddenly watched the whole thing. He said, you should have put money on all of the things you said. And I should have. I've not watched it back. <laughs> Do you know, I, I will say about Lee, in, in, this, in this regard, in this instance, like, he is, he is right about Arteta, isn't he? He is right about Arteta. And anyone who's backed Arteta, including me for saying, I, th I think there's been improvements. We're all wrong. Like 110%. We're all wrong. And I'm at a point now where you may not like Lee. You may not like all the things that he says. But he is so spot on with this. He really, really is. Um, I want to take a look at this because this has been doing the rounds. This has been trending. This is what Mikel Arteta had to say uh, after the game. As somebody that didn't know the score and is watching the game and asked who won the game, they would have said that Arsenal won it comfortably, but it's not the case. So it's difficult to explain considering that little to lose a football match in, in this league. But um, we consider that sloppy goal and for the amount of possession, because it wasn't just possession, it was the threat that we played very close to the opponent's half. It wasn't a possession in our own back line. Uh, we should have scored three or four. It's as simple as that. When you are there that much, you have to score a goal. See, look, I, I kind of get what Mikel Arteta is, is, is saying there. They, they should have scored those goals. They, they undoubtedly should have scored more goals yesterday. But when I heard that, I just thought to myself, come on, Mikel. No Arsenal fan is going to fall for that. No Arsenal fan is going to get behind you. But that isn't true. It takes five minutes of looking across social media and you see the responses. This here, it's not over yet. And Arsenal have a structure that is... Con conductive, Con conducive, sorry, uh, with breaking this Southampton team down. But if this game is played 10 times, Arsenal wins it nine times. Southampton have barely created anything because Arsenal have pinned them back all game and Foster has saved them. What's crazy about takes like this is it's almost like you're ignoring the other defeats in this, in, in this run of games as well. And I think that for me would be the most frustrating bit as a gooner. Now, a lot of gooners aren't backing this. If you look um, on on the on 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 Twitter here and scroll down the quote tweets, you see a lot of people, you know, are going to come out and and and, and are condemning it and saying that you are wrong. That's not how it works. And this one here is right here. This is what I I like. This one here that says that's not how it works, Mikel. Your team has to score more than the other team to win. And when your club, when your team is tracking towards losing more games than last season, conceding more goals than last season. Words like that from Mikel Arteta are wrong at that point. Put your hand... Do you know who does it brilliantly? Thomas Tuchel. He puts his hand up and just says, do you know what? Today, today, we were simply not good enough. And it rings true of a lot of people. It really does. Now, listen, on Mikel Arteta, if you want him in, if you want him out, that's entirely up to you. Of course, it's entirely up to you. It's your view. It's your opinion. But was Lee Gunner right? Was, oh, fuck him up! Was Lee Gunner right? All along. That's what I want to ask you all today. Was Lee gonna write all along? I need to know your I need to know your thoughts and your feelings on this, people. Was he right all along? And should people have been less focused on him and maybe the way he talks and some of the things he tweets and listen to what he said? Was he right all along? That Mikel Arteta and the way the board have gone about this appointment and the running is lowering the standards. Could it be another season in seventh or eighth? Could it be a season with no improvement from last year? Gunas, I want your thoughts uh, and I want your feelings on that. Up next, I want to take a little bit of a look here at City's defeat. <laughs> Stefan. Oh, fucking hell, man. I fucking said it. Fuck's sake. 
Embarrassing! Fuck it, I called it after five minutes. Said, why the fuck are we passing it out from the back? 2 0 at Liverpool. It's actually just embarrassing. You could see it after. Let's watch this back again. I love this. This is the moment, obviously, Stefan and, and the big bad mistake in the, in the champion in the FA Cup semi final. Passing it with Zach Stefan at the back again. He switches it to the left hand side with Zinchenko. Got Bernardo Silva in the middle. Yeah, I think we just need like a couple, you know, a couple of minutes just to chill out. Couple of minutes. Couple of minutes, chill, just chill, chill out. Couple of minutes. <laughs> Get a bit of confidence back into the team because, yeah, they don't look great at the minute. Oh, pop it off, pop it off, pop it off. You got to be a bit quicker with your passing. Bernardo Silva has to come in and help Zinchenko there, Bernardo. You have to help him out. He needs an option. Can't just stand there. Look at his face. Look at his face. The stress. Landino switches it to the right side to Cancelo. The stress. Struggling to find any passes here to beat Liverpool's press. Sort of high press. <laughs> okay, he's watching it. Stefan. Oh, fucking hell, man! <laughs> fucking said it! Fuck's sake! Embarrassing! Fuck it, I called it after five minutes. <laughs> said, why the fuck are we passing it out from the back? 2 0 at Liverpool. It's actually just embarrassing. You could see it after four minutes. You could see how, what was going to happen in this game. You could actually see it. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> like, I'm shameless for laughing at a team that's much better than mine, but it, it was funny. Uh, go check out City Extra, by the way. The link is in the description below um, for, 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 for the game as well. Let's also take a quick look here as well at the third goal that went in, because this, this was beautiful. This is beautiful, people. This is beautiful. Let's have a little look. Yeah, goal. Oh, wow. 3-0. Near post, Stefan, bro. Near post goal. Is this keeper for real? <laughs> Stefan, man. I love the fact. Near post. I love the fact. There's, I think there's a, a lady in the background. Just, just. Oh no! <laughs> watch, 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 watch. I like the graphics, by the way. Very, very good. Very good graphics. Right. That's all fully bottled that top four, aren't they? Let's laugh at other clubs. Let's just laugh at other. They'd laugh at other clubs. Other football clubs, guys. <laughs> let's laugh at United and let's laugh, laugh at Arsenal. No one wants that top four. Nobody. Tottenham got beat today. Arsenal getting beat. United were 2-0 two, two up and now are 2 all. Luis Diaz picks up the ball on the left-hand side. Shot from Robertson. Blocked by John Stones. Diaz still has the ball on the edge of the penalty area. Gives it to Robertson. Back out to Thiago. Trent. Back to Thiago. Oh, wow. 3-0. <laughs> Near post, Stefan, bro. Near post goal. That was Is the it... best bit. Oh, no. <laughs> Keeper for real. Stefan, man. Near post. Near post. Near post. <laughs> Are you joking me, Stefan, bro? It's really difficult to sort of like... Defend. As bad as you were for the first, uh, for the second goal, I still tried to be like, back you a little bit. No. But that's a near post, bro. That, that's You're worst. meant to be a shot stopper. It's worst. Worst? Worst. 3-0, game over. That's it. Done. I had, a, I had a glimmer of hope at 2-0. A Done. glimmer of hope at 2-0. Bro, that's a shocking goal. That's arguably worse than the, the second. Because that's his near post. And he's meant to be, yeah, no, he's not great on the ball, but he's meant to be, he's a good shot stopper. Well, that's a shot. That's a, that's a near post. They're done. They're done out there today. Listen, big up uh, City Extra. Great, great channel. Go and check them out, people. Uh, but that's it. That's a fan channel review show. Lee Gunner was he right? Let's just enjoy a little bit of the uh, of City's demise. It isn't much of a bloody demise. They can still win the Premier League and Champions League this year. What a season that will be. But our tet are out. Trends again. Hit the like and share button, people. Until next time, take care. Goodbye. God bless. We'll see.